Hello, welcome everyone in the public relations session three. In this, I give you a complete idea about the some skills, how it work, why it work, where it. So everything is completed by this final class or final session. And if required, I will take one more, but it will be not so long. I divided entire theory, entire session into the small part so that you can understand completely entire concept in some steps that which one is first, which one is second and then third. Like in my previous session, I explained what is the public relations, where it required. So, so many places everywhere you can uh, apply public relations skills wherever you have deal with the public. Either to explain the product, either to explain the brand or public figure or any NGO. Some people ask that who is actually the public relationship expert. So they are actually storytellers. They first imagine the things and then make its visualization or a pictorial representation before yours. How we can develop the public relationship skills. So I explain you that some people having this by birth, but they also have to groom it. And those are not having this by birth, strongly not having, everyone having a small part of public relationship. If you are having the capacity to speak your views, your voice, your ideas, your suggestions, then you have the public relationship skill. But whenever you come in the market, then it should be the balanced, balanced for the public as well as your entrepreneur to whom you are working and the public for whom you are working. Because if your product is purchased by the public and it's good, then public will be impressed. Second thing is this, if you sell any product with a false commitment, then surely after some time, public will notice it. And in this way, the reputation of your organization will be damaged. So keep this in mind to advocacy your product, but honestly become the expertise of your product selling skill with independence, thoughts and ideas. You must have loyalty toward your organization but be fairness about the buyers or public opinion or vendors, everyone. You should open your mind, open your ears for everyone to hear them and respect their. These are a small glimpse of my previous two sessions. I just recall it for your recalling purpose. And now today my concern is to how we can do it. Main concern is this, I explain everything that what is this, where we implement it. Now, the concern and the whole theory is stuck on a particular point, how we can do it. So in my previous session, I explained that there are two kinds of the process. One is inside organization or create a event inside your form your organization where you call some reputed people, those can circulate your product. Second is you openly come in the market and create an event and then gather the people to express your views, thoughts, ideas and suggestions. So both are very important and both are required according to the switch piece, according to the brand, according to the product, according to the launching condition. Now, we all know that whenever a product come in the market, <clears throat> we need to make it a brand. We need to make people aware that this brand belongs to this organization. This brand or this product is helpful for this, this things. The people can take, then people can survive, then people can enjoy. So many things are associated with particular product. And in present scenario, we know that a few media uh, 
platforms are very trusty television radio print media still these mediums having a very good reputation and also people think that they are unbiased means if they are writing something for a particular product then it means they have their independent thoughts and not biased here the public relationship the public relation is to start from your in house means inside the organization where you organized a pr meet for the some distributed agencies where you write a good content to distribute this people and then start speaking the same with handling their queries because when you start speaking the media houses or the media partners or the media platform are actually representing the public they ask questions on the behalf of public that what are the pros and cons what are the benefits what are the merits what are the demerits what are the benefits what are the side effects so you should prepare yourself for these all kind of the questions and you give answers with very cool nature so this is start from here this is the very first step that required in the public relations once it is done you need to organize one more for the open platforms like social media like video conferencing like so many platforms that that associated with the digital media where you can speak but before speaking is speaking you must write your speech that on which which points you are going to target and also keep your eyes over the comments those people are giving there by listening and hearing your speech so as you summarize whole the scenario and whole the things you will be you will be able to explain that what exactly <clears throat> about the product you want to explain what is the business or even ngo and a particular person so these two things are synchronized to each other and in which you can give the references also from the this newspaper from the, this place and so on because this bring you a confidence that okay if some uh, is still we are trusted on various newspapers television shows and um, other print media that they are really unbiased and if they are writing something then it's really very independent so if we take a note from that newspaper that on this newspaper they have highlighted the good things of my product so people will start trusting and once they start trust on your product then definitely they will buy it write pitches about a firm and send them directly to jack this is little bit different because this activity is actually away from all the things is here there is no directly involvement of human to whom you are going to explain here you written about the product good things about the product and send them the news agencies editor notes and so many things there are so many categories available in the newspaper or other places digital medium where your this content can be published you can because these platforms are already in touch with the public so if public read this content and try to understand so the first branding was there the credibility of that medium as much as the credibility of that medium was there your content get the same kind of the credit because uh, 
again i am repeating the same thing because some mediums still are very reputed and if your content reaches there then definitely people consider as unbiased analysis so these top 3 one or two or three is actually related with the print media or any other digital media that has a good reach uh, reach and reputation reach and reputation both are required because if it has a good reach but not good reputation then it's useless people will see people will watch it but not take it seriously if it has a good reputation but not reach then also your uh, motive will not be solved by this activity so both the things are so the concept is very clear that you can utilize the predefined reputed mediums for the promotion of your product but actually here you work as a secondary uh, secondary pr person means where uh, you have a two mediums one is your skill and second is the reach of the pr so here the reach is due to the mediums that you utilize and this is also very smart work that you utilize the some mediums now create and execute a special event designed for public outreach and media releases this is actually the process by which you can directly connect with the people directly you can solve their queries directly give them ideas suggestions and gain their requirement to enhance your product because whenever you are going to organize an event not only you promote their your own product but also you can make some co cool sponsor suppose there is a event organization cost is around 1 lakh dollar and you have budget of 20000 then you can contact with the other co sponsor that we are going to organize this event where around this much of the crowd can be available and if you give your support then we can organize this on a big way so that we can expose our product or explore our product before these people once they identify our brand our logo our name our services then definitely whenever they require they can buy our products so these kind of the uh, public outreach or media relations are really very important and here your confidence your skills means explanatory skills knowledge about the product pros and cons merits demerit benefits and side these all the things you have to remember so that whenever any counter questions come you can handle it not only you know about your only product but you also have some information about your competitor so that so that you can manage the damage very well because no one product is perfect every product has some some issues some demerit some side effects but depends the how much capacity how much intensity it has some has 90% some has 10% 20% 40% none of the product is 100% perfect none of the brand none of the person and you whatever you are thinking here i am not taking the particular name of any business or any services or any concern here you are the pr person we are people that can handle any kind of the switches any kind of the market any kind of the brand because no one knows which kind of the product services or situation you face whenever you are in market so you would learn that how to explore the product how to marketize the product how to communicate with the people how to persuade them how to convince and how to create a story and how to tell this how to imagine and how to visualize 
these entire things you have to understand, learn, and think. Because these are the base. Once you have a strong hold over these five to six points, then anything you can handle, any situation you can, you can create a big picture toward the buyers and audience. So this create and execute special event is really very helpful. And even uh, sometime uh, around six to seven years ago, I also organized this kind of the events for so many educational institutes where they has crisis of students, means students are not uh, taking admissions in some institutes because of the placement issues. Then we organize events and bring some co-sponsor. I, I connect with around 100 IT companies. Do, those become the co-sponsor because those IT companies are also need freshers so this is actually the networking system as much as your next per expand you get the benefits now one more things that uh, people love to do the research ideas suggestions on any newspaper on any uh, tv channel or anywhere you can conduct a survey uh, related with your product means we have a product and organize a quiz or a small research give them four options that why you love this product most or why you uh, buy this particular product <clears throat> give them four and five reasons the costing need and so many things but before preparing the options you you should very uh, sure that your product means how your product is associated or fit in that circumstance means suppose if i am selling the toothpaste so i conduct a survey why you need toothpaste to strong your teeth to strong your gum to remove bad breaths and something else you can add even cost also and why you uh, why you selected particular brand for the cost so th these need to be said very carefully means why you use toothpaste okay why you love your brand means why you are using a particular brand you give them four options the cost the brand the company and so on four or five things you can do customer care also and then you identify that where your product is fit suppose in this survey around 10,000 people participate top three the first question is okay fine because everyone is using toothpaste to strong their teeth strong their gum remove the bad that's fine so this explain the usability means people know that this particular product is useful for this scenario these things but what is the reason that you are using your particular product the, the answers, the replies of these questions are very important for you. Because if 90% are saying that due to cost, due to cost, then you think that here cost is matter. If 70% says, 90 remove, 70% says that we use this for the brand, it's the biggest brand then you should concern that to become a brand you need some time so you target the rest 30 percent so gradually you start targeting 30 percent but you expand your brand so that one two three four five and rest people from the remaining 70 percent can start using your brand so this research and its analysis, both are very important. 
and this will really help a lot because in this you may directly interact and second thing is this here you can collect in big data mm -hmm. where you can share offers where you can share ideas where you can share some more things there are so many things that you can share with the help of email id or password or oh, sorry email id and uh, mobile number so this how we can do it is actually the open things and the final battle to win the society and win the heart of people and to achieve the goal now the last three points are actually directly related with the online meetups in a course before some time i uh, explain the various biggest factors of the uh, digital marketing i mean how digital marketing helps to make your business a brand in this i use so many factors in that social media like uh, you know very well i am not taking the name but everyone is know the name of the social media where the audience is available blogging sites so many uh, content marketing places are there where every day millions of people come to gather the information and even they ask the very different different questions why i use this what are the benefit where means the question related with the w means how sorry what where when this kind of so you need to collect that questions from those mediums and write their answer and the answer is somehow related with your product because ultimate goal is to explain your product but but be sure you not biased with the product you explain that use this product and then decide is it good or bad it is suitable or not suitable means you give a option to the people those are going to use utilize your product that is it fine or not don't you say that our product is best every entrepreneur know that their product is best but if the same voice come from the audience that your product is best this is the real mean of the success so you write content you reply you answer whatever you think is possible you can do but make sure you get a good touch with the public to whom you are going to sell your product crisis relations strategy so this is another very important and interesting point so and i always recommend that if you are not able to write your content you take the help of content writer also but the blog or the content that you are going to answering in various forum site should be very concrete fact based there is no need to write a long story because long story is fine when you are interacting with the people but when people are learning something or going to read something they need facts on and if your data is fact based then it is more impactful in comparison to storytelling crisis public relations strategy this is also very important scenario where you can directly understand the problems of people you can find out the exact problem and then you start giving the solution your solution should be unbiased i am i am i am repeating so many times a few terms that unbiased independent process practice because these are the key points of the public relations if you lose these then the public relations will be Uh, no more videos because everyone knows 
you think you imagine that you are not a single person who come from office to market to explain the audience millions of people are everywhere millions of people are doing the same work that you are doing and if anyhow you out from the race then second or another person will take the place because you replace someone then you stand there if someone replace you that person will be standing there so this is the chance system no place is permanently allocated for any today me tomorrow you day after tomorrow anyone other so this is the entire process and it is the practice so be sure that you keep your strong hold over the public their queries their questions their issues their ideas everything should be noted by you and entertained by you also other than this final and very very strong platform that is social media i i didn't take the name earlier any social media but here i am saying according to the audience social media platforms are different if your audience is belongs to particular sector like politics like business like youngster like some celebrity then according to these your social media platform is different so you need to check that which social media platform is very very suitable for your product you start marketing there and gradually when you start marketing there then definitely your competitor your rivals or maybe your users sometime your user get the bad experience sometime they start writing very very negative reviews and it's really very disappointing situation when mm-hmm. someone write a negative because you cannot remove that review on so many platforms they are not allow you to remove that particular negative review so what solution you have at that you need to respond you need to respond that particular negative review that oh we get your concern and really it's very sad you start with this you apologize and politely ask them that where they face the problem you can give them contact number you can you, you can do whatever is possible so that the matter can be solved because one single person if you start negativity towards your business then it impact at least 10 other people but if the particular person get positive response from the person in plus at least 20% because happiness is more expandable if if honestly people start spend so this entire system that i explain you that organize a event inside the organization and contact with the media person write a speech and speak on the platforms where you can interact with the people guide them ask them questions you can directly contact with the firms where they can publish your content that you send with unbiasedly you can create an executive special event for the public on a various uh, locations where good gathering are available some co sponsor so that the monetary benefit you get both get and the uh, result are the very fine tuned because whenever you are going to execute an event definitely it's very expensive and if you bear that whole expense by self it is really very hard to adjust better you coordinate with some uh, related means if you are selling a thing then and b thing is required for that also that c required so th- this kind of the combination you can make so that a proper benefits a proper solution 
public can gain from that event. You can also conduct a market research where asked to the people about their brand, their product, their usability. This is also give you an idea that on which place you have to give more pay attention. Content really is still very big uh, playing role uh, because when you write a content with deep research, people love to read it and they mean it because when they start reading content on the fact base, they realize that how much you are honest about the particular product, about the goodness, about the badness, effect, side effect, benefits, each and everything is clear in that particular. Sometimes public feels some anxiety, some problems, some issues, then you target that. You can bring a product with that solution. Be careful that people stop writing negative reviews or if they written anywhere negative reviews, then you response so that they can come under control. They can realize that, oh, we can get a better solution. And your uh, emotional bonding with the public can save the reputation and brand the audience. So these all points are really very, very important for a public relations. I have some more points to explain you that truthfulness, authenticity, respect. And these, these, these two points are a little bit required because whole things is depend on the four to five scenarios. Your confidence, your skill, your honesty, your loyalty, your knowledge, your social engagement. So if you, I am going here, the same thing is again repeated. But its meaning is a little bit different because before that, I explained all the things to keep the balancing. But in this section, I explain you toward the buyers that how much you are loyal for the society. How much you are respectful for the public to whom you are going to say. So this I will explain in a take. I will take a small session so that I can explain you this as well as this diagram also. This diagram looks very uh, easy, but it has a very deep meaning from where we need to start. And this start from the search engine to social media. And in between, a lot of things are circulated. So stay tuned. I am just uh, becoming, I'm just going to create another session so that you can get a complete idea. Have a great